horse was held in the work. It was very, very easy. Time to start a new day. Let's hope it's a profitable one for the fans. Well, a lot of the research day is spent right in this office where uh, much of my research information is kept, but we need some tools, so we need binoculars, we need our stopwatches, We're ready to go. Time to get comfortable because we'll be here for four hours. Uh, it's almost by necessity that the horses have to get out early and train. Right here, what we're doing is originating information. This information isn't available anywhere else. And that uh, helps drive the passion of uh, being first here to see it and first to interpret it. First thing that we'll notice this morning is that uh, it's a bit cooler, uh, but there's a very significant northwest wind. And what that's going to do is going to slow the horses as they come through the stretch. We've got our first horse here, and uh, this is a horse that's working a half mile. So right away you can see this horse is getting a bit of a mini boost on the back stretch by the wind, but this horse will have to fight the wind through the stretch. My time for the five furlong work is 102 and three. There's probably about 2,000 horses here at Woodbine, so to help identify them, you have to go through various procedures. Uh, the first thing I'd be looking for is the saddle cloth. If I can find uh, which stable the horse uh, comes from, that'll get me down to probably 30 possible horses on the racetrack. The next thing you're looking for is the color of the horse, and you have to separate the bays and the grays and the chestnuts. That'll further reduce it within that stable to maybe 15 or 12 horses, and then you start looking at uh, the marks, uh, what the horse has on its head and how it's marked on its feet, and that can get it down to two or three horses, and that's when you come to the book and uh, do the final determination of just uh, which horse that is. You have to go on the website and find the maintenance report to see if they've uh, power harrowed or if they've cultivated the racetrack. So again, today we're looking at the racing surface and we're looking at the wind, which can really slow times. So this is a case of earth, wind, and desire. So we're just uh, at the completion of uh, journal time here now. We're reaching our deadlines. So I take my uh, notes, these are bias notes on this particular day, October 15th, horses coming from behind and on the outside were advantaged, horses racing inside and with speed were disadvantaged and I have to know those facts when I go to evaluate each and every race. So this is a typical morning where essentially we're just uh, wrapping up. We've been originating information, we've been gathering information, we've been compiling information and now we're gonna start our messaging process. It's going to be on the internet, it's going to be in the program, it's going to be delivered live on the simulcast show, on the bet night show. Let's hope that some of this information will get into the hands of the betting public and somebody can make some money with it.